this video is going to be our last 3D problem example. Um, so I did my best attempt at drawing this picture here anyway, but I'll explain it anyway if it isn't clear just by looking at it. But uh, give me a second. So we have a cliff here that's 100 meters high. There are two boats, the two red boats here, A and B. Uh, B is directly east from the cliff, okay, so it's exactly straight over from this side on the cliff. And then A is 30 degrees east of south, okay, so you go down south, then you go 30 degrees to the east, and that's where this boat is, okay. Um, how far are the boats from each other is the question, okay. So that's the only information we're given, and we have to work out how far the boats are from each other. So, yeah, I guess we'll just start it. So, um how we start it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find out, I'm going to start drawing triangles basically, okay? So I'll draw this triangle CBA, okay? Um, we'll go red, I'm going to go the triangle CBA, okay? CBA. So we're going to have, it's going to be something like this here, okay? We don't know what angles are here. All we know, so since this is 30 degrees, and this is going to be 90 degrees uh, straight out. So if, it's, if this is directly east, this is direction is directly south, and it's between south and east. There's obviously going to be 90 degrees because they're um, perpendicular to each other. So basically, we know that this angle here is 60 degrees. Okay, and the only other thing we know is that this is x is what we want to find out. Um, so I was labeled as well C, B, and A. So we don't know how far A is. From the cliff, we don't know how far B is from the cliff, and um, so we're gonna need to find these things out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna draw another triangle. We'll draw this one here, DCB. Okay, so how far boat B is from the cliff? It's that one in dark blue. There's our cliff, and here we go. So we have 15 degrees. We have boat B. The bottom is C. The top of the cliff is D. So it's a bad D. There we go. And then the height of the cliff is 100 meters, okay? Uh, we also know that this is perpendicular because it's a cliff. So just any kind of cliff or man-made structure, etc., is always perpendicular, yeah? Um, yeah, so we just go through the rules. We can't use Pythagoras, but we can use sine, cos, or tan. So in this case, we're going to use tan because this is the angle we want to get. So I'm just going to call this, I don't know, C. Um, Wait, sorry, this is the, the side we want to get. We want to find the side C. So I'm going to say tan of 15 is equal to opposite over adjacent, which means it's going to be 100 over C. Um, so that means C multiplied by tan 15 is equal to 100. So we multiply both sides by C. And we're going to divide both sides by tan of 15. And we get 100 divided by tan of 15. And that'll get us how far uh, the boat B is from the bottom of the cliff, so that distance C in our triangle, yeah? And that distance is 373.2 meters. Again, that's just gonna be a calculator. So now I'm gonna do the same with this triangle here, sorry, let's go a bit more, with DAC, okay? I'm gonna draw that one out. I'm actually just gonna label this quickly as well. That's the triangle DCB, I'll go green, we're going to use the triangle, what was it, ACD. Um, okay, it's going to be like this. So this time it's 20 degrees is the angle. The height of the cliff is still 100 meters. This is still perpendicular. And we're going to call this B. Um, okay, yeah, so this is our side here, B. Um, so A, C, D, we have, this is 100 meters, this is perpendicular, and the angle here is 20, yeah? So we're breaking up a 3D problem into 2D triangles. Uh, again, we're going to use tan here, so I'll go to pink to do that. So it's going to be tan of 20 is equal to opposite, which is 100, over B. So that means B multiplied by tan of 20, it's exactly like the last problem, is equal to 100. So B is going to be equal to 100 divided by tan of 20. And again, you're going to stick that into your calculator. 100 divided by tan of 20 is going to be 274.7 meters. Yeah. So I'm going to go up and draw those here. So that is B. This is C. 
and this is X, but I'm actually going to change that from X to 8, like I've done there. So, because the, the reason for that is we're going to use the cosine rule now to find this, because we have our side B, I'm not writing the number in, we have our side C, I'm not writing the number in either, but ju just so we know, um, and then this is our angle 60. So I know it says point C there, but we're just going to pretend that is A for now, just for the use of the, um, the cosine rule, okay? So I'm going to say that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos of A. So this is going to be a bit of a squeeze. A squared is going to be, so B was 274.7. Okay, so 274.7 squared plus C was 373.2. 373.2 squared minus 2 multiplied by B. And then that's all multiplied by cos of 60. Okay, so now that's quite messy. Um, but basically, you'd probably just stick that all into the calculator. You're going to find then that A squared is this large number here. 1, 1. No. Nope. One one two 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 zero oh, point two nine. So again, sorry about the messiness. A is going to be the square root of that, which will give us through. Oh, say equals to. Okay, I'm just going to go back a bit. So then A is equal to three hundred thirty four point nine nine. If you want to round that up, then you can say A is equal to three hundred thirty five meters. And there we have it. Yeah, so if you want to write that as AB, you can do that too. Uh, I'm just calling it A in this question here. So that is how far are the boats from each other. They're 335 meters if you draw a direct line from A to B. So again, hopefully that made sense. Um, the whole that, That's our last one of the 3D problem videos. It's the same thing every time. You just need to break it up into small 2D triangles and then either use Pythagoras, sine, cos, tan, the sine rule, the cosine rule, every single time. And... Um, Hopefully the video's helped and we're going to move on to kind of radians and the unit circle and graphs of trigonometric functions in the next few videos. Um, but that's all there is about this so far. Most exam questions are going to be on 3D problems. Uh, I think they're more likely to come up anyway. Um, so yeah, make sure you know them well and then we'll see you in the next few videos.